The spirit of Ubuntu, African humanity, upendo na kupenda na kwa wote, gwe na oli muntu, black man deserve dignity, unity and solidarity, I'm a grandson of Chintu, show me some hospitality, I could be your distant cousin, cause we born from the same bond, cut from the same cloth, African people we are one and the same. Yo, my name is Bobby Wine, also known as Chagulani Sentamu. I'm a music man, musical artist, actor and activist, also a political leader and the head of the National Unity Platform, political party in Uganda and the People Power Movement for the liberation of the people of Uganda. The problem of Uganda right now it's the same problem that Uganda has had for 35 years. The bloodthirsty and brutal military dictatorship presided over by General Museveni, which has dehumanized the people of Uganda and denied them any right to be human beings in their own country. And after that problem is solved, everything else is going to be secondary. I decided long ago that enough is enough, but my decision and my resolve goes from one level to another, uh, from a level of just being disgusted by the autocracy to a level of speaking out against it, singing against it, to a level of acting politically against it. I stood and won a presidential election which General Museveni is tall blatantly, and now we are in the next phase of that struggle. So I decided long ago, but the levels keep transcending from one to another. Yeah. No, as a musician, I never knew initially that politics was the next step. But again, I would rather not call it politics. I would rather call it reality because for me, it's reality. I don't want to call it politics because the word politics then um, is misdefined, is wrongly defined. I believe this is a responsibility, this is a calling, not just for me, but for everybody that had the misfortune of being born in Uganda. I have always spoken for myself. I'm a common man. I'm a ghetto youth. So I have always spoken for myself. And in the process, I find myself speaking for so many other common people, for so many other ghetto people. And interestingly, by speaking for the common people and the ghetto people, I also end up speaking for everybody else. Because if the common people are all right, everybody's going to be all right. But if the common people are not all right, nobody's going to be all right. There's going to be more crime, there's going to be uh, more insecurity. So it has been and is still important to me that the common people are sorted. Well, I must say it is very, very possible for anybody, including myself, to fall into the trappings of power. How do I make sure I don't end up with a uh, hero, hero to villain story? It's by not taking it only upon myself. I always tell people that I'm not here to save anybody. I'm here to play my role in saving myself and everybody else. And if everybody else plays a role, then we liberate ourselves as a nation, not as an individual. I did not give up music because I'm a musician. That is me. But again, I'm a Ugandan before I'm a musician, just like every, anybody else is a, lawyer, a Ugandan before they are lawyer, doctor, teacher, soldier, name it. So I'm a Ugandan, even if I'm a musician. And uh, I know that it's music 
that has been the most powerful tool in the communication that we do. And it's music that endeared me to most people. So there's absolutely no way I can leave music. It's, it's my identity. And even after all this is over, because one day the struggle is going to be over and we are going to be free. I cannot wait to become a singer once more. That's my passion. That's my favorite activity. That's the best thing that has ever happened to me, being a musician. And I miss, I miss my musical life. But we have work to do here. Yeah. I said, my music, like all revolutionary music, like all anti-oppression music, is dangerous to the dictatorships. Particularly what makes my music dangerous to the regime is that it speaks the truth and it cannot be limited. It has been abolished on radio and TV stations and some people are actually being abducted for simply playing my music loud. But it is unstoppable, especially in this day and age of the internet and social media. Our music moves so fast. So having music for me is having a very powerful weapon at hand. I did not choose Xenophobia as my next single. It chose me. My music is a response to what is going on. So there was rampant xenophobic attacks against fellow African people, fellow black people in South Africa. And we've seen that in some other places. And for me, it was important to respond to those attacks with a call to stop xenophobia, to reject it. My fellow artist, my brother Nubian Lee, with whom we sang this song, Xenophobia, is in prison. Not because he was violent, not because he stole anything, no, but simply because he stood with me while I was contesting for the presidency. He was arrested on the campaign trail and General Museveni found it fit to keep him in prison up to today. Well, Nubian's release and the release of all other political prisoners, I must say it's not just Nubian Lee. They are in thousands. Thousands of young men and women are in prison. Some are dead. Some are missing simply because they stood with me, non-violently, but because they supported me when I ran for president. His release, like the release of many other comrades, will mean a triumph of good over evil. It will mean a triumph of, of our freedom over oppression. It will mean the triumph of the rule of law because as, according to our constitution, it is not illegal to run for president and it's not illegal to support somebody other than the incumbent. So it would mean a triumph of the truth over deceitfulness. Of course I felt terrible, but I was not surprised. I knew that General Museveni was heading, I knew that we were defeating him fair and square, and he knew it. And even on the eve, by, I mean, the days and weeks preceding the election, it was clear that General Museveni was heading for a resounding defeat. But we knew from the uh, comments and conduct of the Electoral Commission that they would not respect the will of the people of Uganda. And that's exactly what happened. I'm reminded by the massive support that we receive every day, even after the stolen election, Wherever we go, the people of Uganda motivate us, they encourage us, and that keeps us going. I think the future of Uganda is in the hands of God. We as Ugandans can only do our part, fight for the rights of those that cannot fight for themselves, defend those that cannot defend themselves. But God is going to play the biggest role in this.